Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. But we get more money for it. It's a tough call. It's genuinely a tough call. Uh, let's have a look, see what the prices are right now. We've got just in here, uh, 177 for that one is going up. That one's 180. I believe that one there is actually at a low point and not a high point. So we could potentially be getting close to 250 euros per thousand for that one. I mean, it's not a great deal, whichever way we look at it. I've just been watching to see how quickly it is using this stuff up. And... It's... Yeah, I'm... I'm Pretty certain that it's slower than the other one. I mean, if we go and have a look in here, what is the capacity of this? Uh, well, I don't know what the capacity is. It's 10,500. It's 9 meter spread as well, so exactly the same. I don't think we should worry about trying to sell any of it. I think we should worry about trying to, um, like, spread it on the land. End up being the better option for us. Right. Uh,. I need to change to the front one in here. Halper G has completed their task. That means we can go and get a little bit of shut eye if we want to. There we go. Right. Just wanted to do that a minute. And then I can lift this one up and get it out of the way. I can reverse up here with this one. Started up like that. There we go. Tree gone. And then I've got that one up over there. And I mean, honestly, I don't think that is going to be any kind of an issue for us whatsoever. Especially considering that we generally turn in the other direction. But I'm still going to cut it down just in case. It may end up being a bit of a problem one day, and just in case, I feel it's probably better if we do actually get rid of it. So let's come back up here like this. There we go. Right, that one's gone as well. Job done. That's it. That's all we needed to do there. We've done the manure spreading up the top as well. I ought really to go and drive that one back to the yard. I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to stop this one right here. And I'll go and drive this one... This one back. 500 litres left on board this one. Not much left in there. We can start just ticking forward time a little bit. We'll go to 30 times speed. We've gotten rid of the trees in the new field. We've done all of the manure and slurry spreading that we needed to do out in these fields. That's all done. Uh, the only thing that we've got left that we need to do now on the farm is spreading fertilizer on the sugar beet fields. Which we can't do until the morning. So we need to just wait until then. We'll be doing another mowing come the morning. Uh, well, not come the morning. We, we will be doing another mowing, so I want to go now to this tractor. I'm going to fold that down. Bring it forward a little bit, and I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm just going to stop right there like that. Uh, i got to remember which way around I'm facing on this one. So let me just do control B. Oops. Control B like that, and now I'm facing it in the correct direction, and we can go over here, and I'll just tuck in behind that one. Right. So you're done, and then I'm I'm just going to go to that one. We'll bring the Valtra back, and we'll put the Combines back tomorrow. Let's go up here, and we'll get ourselves our little bit of shut-eye. I love seeing the money tick through overnight. Uh, we get obscene amounts of money turning up on our property. Now, we sleep in around here. We don't believe in getting up at the crack of dawn. Over here. So, we need to wait until 10 o'clock. 
We don't start our morning milking at 9 o'clock or anything obscene like that. We wait until 10 o'clock. A much more civilised hour to start doing some work. So at 10 o'clock we will pause the fast forwarding of time. And we will sell our milk. We will feed our cows. We can start the fertiliser spreading going as well. Everything can be dealt with at 10 o'clock. So we go, there we go, 10 o'clock like that. And I've got 9,283 litres of milk right here. I mean, was it 10 o'clock? Maybe it was 9 o'clock that I've been doing stuff. I don't think so. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going for 10 o'clock anyway. That's what I'm going to do at the moment. So I want to go okay on that. It's going to get me good gravy. 30 grand for that lot. Okay, milk on easy setting is definitely the way to make a vast, vast sum of money. It really is. Now, we also need to just check in here and see how we're doing. Yes, we're absolutely fine with that. Growth stage is perfect. So I will take this one here back to the yard. And we will get the fertilizer spreader hooked on to this voucher right here. And we will start spreading fertilizer across all of our fields. And while we're doing that, once the fertilizer spreader starts... I'll get a bit of straw and put that in for the cows because they need it. And then we're 5,000 away from being able to afford our next solar panel as well. It would be nice to be able to stick the next solar panel in there. Still haven't gotten that um, mod that allows me to remove the placeables on the map. It is on my to-do list. I have actually got plans for it. I would like to have that one on here. I mean, it bugs me that I keep forgetting it. Um, I would actually like to have that one here so that I can remove some of those rocks by the solar panels in order to make better use of those solar panels. So we'll dump you down there like that. We'll go and get the front weight back onto this tractor and then we will hook on that fertilizer spreader over there. Uh, there we go. That's you. Running a little low on fuel here. I mean, it's not too bad, but I'll be doing a bit more soon. Straight back into there like that. I've got 3,000 litres of fertiliser in here. I'd say that's probably enough. Now, change driving direction. We don't want to do that. Change work width with Y. Turn on spreader. just sets the working width of it there doesn't it like you can like just like have half of it spreading or something like that I'm sure someone said that you might be able to do that or maybe you can do that with the real life one but you can't do it with this one wouldn't surprise me either way it surprised me if the mod did it and it wouldn't surprise me if the mod doesn't do it but um yeah anyway uh I'll bring you in over here. Let's see how we get on with this bit. Is that far? That is absolutely fine. It's got no problem stretching across to that bit. I can't see if it's... Such a job to tell sometimes. Oh, of course. Of course. The middle of the field is already done. That's why I can't tell if it's been spread. I already looked at that. I've seen it on the map. So we don't actually really need to be worrying about this. But what I could do is I could make use of the change work width. So I'll do it down to 24 meters there a second. And then I will manually just drive around the edge of this field. I'm here now, so I might as well do it. We'll just do a quick run around the edge down here, and then we can change the width back up to the full 45 metres and go back to our big fields. Or our, our big fields? Our other fields. This is the biggest field we own. So we, we can't really go classing the others as the big fields, because this is the big field. I think this is the biggest field we own. There's not a lot in it, I think. Between 13 and 14, I don't think there is a huge amount in it. They're both fairly... They're both fair-sized fields. If you had to go out and you had to weed these fields by hand, you'd wish that you didn't have to with both of them. You'd, you'd have... You'd have... Each of them, you, you would... 
desperately, desperately wish that you weren't being forced to do such a task. And I can fully understand why. Okay, that's probably enough right in there. And I can then change the working width back up to 45 meters like that. And we will scoot on over to our other fields and get started on those. Uh, does it use the fertilizer up at a slightly slower rate if it's on a narrower band? Uh, the field that we got at the top, we need to do three passes on that field in order to be able to completely cover it. And it just doesn't feel right having to do the three passes because the third pass is for just such... A tiny narrow strip. But, I mean, if we were to reduce the working width down to, say, 30 meters instead of 45 meters, then that would be a whole lot better, wouldn't it? 30 meters instead of 45, that would, no, actually, say 35 meters. Something along those lines. But anyway, that, that, that would be a way to kind of, like, improve the situation. I'm going to hope that you can turn at the top end of that field without... Uh, me needing to interfere. I'm going to have a look in here at our prices a second. And what have we got with corn? Right now we've got 1,561 at the ranch. And for... Ooh. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. We have got 1,561 there as the high price that we have seen. And I can tell you, just looking at my little post-it note here, I'm just writing in 1561 right there. Um, that is the highest price we've ever seen. 1546 was the previous high, previous, previous high that we had ever seen. But we have a new record. We are going to get a record amount for this. So I'm not going to worry about the cows just for a second. I'm going to go and do this. Uh, ranch is that one down there. So let's go and get our ranch dressing. 1,561 litres per thousand, uh, litres, uh, one, dollars, euros per thousand litres that we're going to get for 188,000 litres of grain. That means that we've got 188 and half as much again, 270,000 euros about to come into the kitty. Which also means that we have enough money to easily cover the cost of leasing the sugar beet harvesting equipment that we want to lease. And we've also got the money to... I guess we could buy... Could we buy another tractor? Actually, no. Um, we want to lease the machinery. We want to buy a solar panel. And we want to uh, upgrade the cultivators would be the next thing that we want to do. I know that we're not actually going to use the cultivators for a little while now. Because we've got several grain crops coming in. But at the same time, it would be nice just to make sure that we can do it. So we start overloading that one. I don't like that this one doesn't automatically remove the cover. Some of them do and some of them don't. Just automatically remove the cover off the top. But look at that golden, golden money coming in. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And, I mean, yeah, the sight of this one tipping up and getting us all of that money always looks good. But what looks really good... I'm going to do it from this angle. I never do it from this angle. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. 293,809 euros harvest income from that right there. Helper H has completed their task as well. So we will go and see him a second. There. All complete and done. I will just go across the top edge of the field over here with him. And then we can send him on down that way. Right. Off you go. That's literally just going to be down and then back up again. And then he'll be finished. I'll bring this one back right now. 446,000 euros right there. I've actually got enough that I could go, probably go and... No, actually I can't. I was thinking maybe I could buy one of the sugar beet harvesters. But I don't have enough money to do that. 
don't have enough money to buy another Vouch tractor either, do I? No. Right, so we don't we don't have enough money to go and buy everything that we want, but we could upgrade the cultivators and we could go and get ourselves the, we can lease the machinery. We need to get the other solar panel. That one's on our to-do list. Actually, you know, I'm thinking that we should buy more cows. That wouldn't that would be a good idea, I think. I think if we can buy some more cows, we also wanna we're looking at a new slurry tanker, but I mean that one can wait. We could probably get enough money from that with our solar panel income uh, by the time we next need to do some spreading. You know what I actually quite like is the fact that although we've now got all of these solar panels here, and we have got a lot of them, so we've got quite a substantial income coming in, we're also, we've got quite a lot of machinery that we're wanting to upgrade at the same time, and it doesn't actually feel that we've well i it doesn't feel to me that like everything has become unbalanced with like the amount of money that we've got coming in it's just keeping things ticking over like i can buy the solar panel that i want to get and i can upgrade the two cultivators and then i don't have any more money i've got no way of getting more money until we you know time passes we've done some more farming. So although we are getting ridiculous amounts of money coming in, they're not actually as ridiculous as they could potentially be. All right, 24, 28, 32 meters. Or 36 meters. 45 right there. So two lots of 45 would make the 90. Uh, let's see if we can do this on 32 meters. See where that puts us. So I'm going to go over there. I'm just curious if 32 will get me exactly right if I go there. Because it can't be more than about a meter's width in the field. So if I do three widths, three passes at 32 meters wide, that should be about right. So while that one is working in there, we're going to go into here. We're going to go to Miscala... Actually, oh yeah, I've already brought that one back. I was just thinking, maybe I haven't... Uh, did, did I bring back the the truck? I did. Uh, so we've got solar panel right here, 150. I don't know why I thought it was 160. 150. Anyway, yes. Come on, focus, Frith. Keep the task in hand. Right, so I want to go down over here and uh, zoom out a little bit. Bring you round over this way so I can see it a little bit better. And that seems to be about the right spacing about there, I think. There we go. We now have another solar panel. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight solar panels lined up down through here. And double check. Make sure that we haven't been greedy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields that we own as well. We haven't bought one for owning the cattle because we I didn't actually think that that should be a thing. For, you know, just because we've bought the cattle yard, I didn't think that we should go buying an extra one for the cattle yard. We've just bought them for each of the fields that we own. So I think that we sort of, we spaced them out. We've done it fairly. So that's all looking pretty good. Uh, the next thing then that we want is cultivators. Now we don't actually need our cultivators immediately. We can wait a little bit before we get them here. What are the cultivators we have at the moment? It's not those. The Horsch 12XL there requires 500 horsepower to pull it. So we're probably not going to go using that one. We've got the Kvernlin stuff here. That's looking pretty good. That one's 400 horsepower requirement. There's some high horsepower requirements on some of these mods. But it's not those that we're using, is it? It's actually under disc arrows, and it's that one that we're using. We've got two of those. Okay, let's just come out of here a second. And then I want to go like that. Change the working width up to 45 meters. Adjust where I am in the field to compensate for the extra meterage that we're covering. We'll go about here, I think. And off we go again. Is it covering it? That's not actually going to cover it quite. So I need to just move over a little bit, I think. 
There we go. That looks a bit better. I think it's about right. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so you keep going. What did I do there? I pressed H and then I pressed it again when I shouldn't have. Uh, and now it's saying it's completed its task when I didn't actually mean to do that either. I'm, I'm pressing all of the wrong buttons here today. Right, we do that and then H. Okay, let's try pressing this one. And we can go and have a look at this camera. So we've got this one here, which is a 5 meter width on it. Now, I like this one. It's all right. And this is the one that can go on the back of the Zunhammer as well. 6 meters wide. We've got this one over here, which is also 6 meters wide. 220 horsepower requirement. I actually rather like this one. But it's a 340 horsepower requirement. And this is the bit that we're up against is the horsepower requirement of these machines. So the Horsch Joker 12RT by Stevie is the same one that is in the game already. I don't want to use that one. This is the one that we generally sort of aim towards in the end. But I don't necessarily want to use that one either. Now, I thought that the... Was the Horsch DLC... Did I... Did we have the Horsch DLC? Maybe I haven't got the... Because the Horsch DLC, I think they included a whole load... Of, yeah, like that one. That was from the Horsch DLC last time, wasn't it? So this thing here is 12 metres wide. That is quite a beast of a cultivator. And then you've got this one, 18 metres wide. That is some cultivator right there. It requires 500 horsepower, though. So we, we won't be getting that one. We won't be getting those at the moment. So I think for now, disc arrows, we've got a 5 meter disc arrow. Uh, we've got 6 and 6 meters there. And then that one's 4 and this one here is 8.3. So that would be our upgrade option for the disc arrows. It'd be this one right here. Uh, be a nice cultivator to get. We can go fairly fast with it. It is a 340 horsepower requirement. And... At the moment, we've got our tractors in here. These only, they're not, actually, how big are they? They go 175. Yeah, I didn't think that. They're not even 200 horsepower. I've got one Valtra right here, which is 250 horsepower, but that still would struggle. So I've only got one tractor on the farm right now that is big enough to be able to pull the one that we've got. We're going for a fleet of Valtras. And this is a 400 horsepower tractor. That's as big as that tractor can get. It's 400 horsepower. So when we want to get the bigger stuff, I'm most likely going... Like, I was wondering about using some of these. Um, maybe articulated machines and using some Stevie options. Um, but I've had quite a few people asking me to use, as I've already mentioned now, um, the Valtras that we've got that Patrio Grazemark did for us. And he did a really fantastic job of doing the Skittles Valtra pack. So most likely I will start to use some of those later on. But I'm, I'm not sure if we will exclusively use those or if we will use... Uh, one or two of those and also use some of the bigger ones. I, I, I'm not quite sure how we're going to balance that one out yet. I haven't, I haven't quite decided. But yeah, I definitely think that we need to be using some of those because I did use it a bit in one series, but a lot of people have said this would be a perfect series to use. Patreon's tractors that he's, he, he went all the time and effort of making them for us. And I've used them in the live streams. They're really good. But haven't used them very much other than that. And I feel that maybe I should. Uh, so, yes, we will We will actually use them. Uh, got anything else to do now, have I? Oh, wait. We've got the cattle up here. Do we need to do anything to the cows? We're about halfway full on straw. So they're still at 100%. But I'm wondering if maybe we need to just move that up a bit to make sure those cows stay on 100%. We'll risk it until tomorrow. We'll run the risk until tomorrow, I think. We could do that. Uh, the new tractor, if we're going to buy another tractor, that's another thing that we want to think about, is buying another tractor. We're going to get one of these. So we need to get the second colour. It'll be... You know, I don't actually remember what colour I was going for second. I'm going for another colour anyway. Um, 
we, we know that much. So while we fast forward time, we can put the combines away in shed and make sure that they are all tucked up safely. We also need to have our sugar beet harvesters here, although we can sort of order those up closer to the actual harvest start. We're going to have a lot of work involved with clearing all of these fields. We don't need to, with our next field purchase, we're not going to need to worry about getting ourselves any, um, any more grass at the moment. I think we're all right for grass. Unless we buy lots of cows. And I'm deliberately not buying the cows yet. But maybe I should. Maybe we could make a boatload of money on these cows if we were to go and get them just now. Alright, you know what? Let's let's just slow that down a second. Go back over to here. Like this. Right up to there. And we have a look. So we have brown and white cows. All the way down through. That's all we've got is brown and white cows. So we will get some more brown and white cows. Those right there. And we will... One, two, three, four, five. Let's push our total cows up to exactly 100 at the moment. Won't go any more than that. But we'll push them up to 100. That is 99,900 euros. Confirm right in there and then if we go and have a look we're now quite low on straw we're also lower on water the total mixed ration will be taken care of i've got no total mixed ration in here at the moment because i've got no silage so we need to wait until we make silage before we get any more of that which is our next cut anyway so that's not really much of a problem uh, I want to go to this one right here and just turn on the water like that. Uh, water there, that top one right there. That one's just going to fill up with water. The total mix ration is still in green, so that one's absolutely fine. And we definitely now want to go and put a bit of straw in. So we will fill up the crone trailer. I'm not sure how much straw we need to put in. Have a look, that's on 40,000 right there, so 120,000 litres of straw at least. We'll put about 150,000 into the trailer and hopefully that will be enough. Could take the full 240, I suppose. No, I'm, I'm not going to take all of the 240,000 capacity. I'll, I'll put 150,000 litres into the trailer. And then we will see. So what have we got in here? Chaff, silage, grass, hay, straw. I don't have a lot in here, really, do I? Okay, let's try the other shed. The grass over here looks like it's ready to roll. The crop, I don't think, was ready to go. Was it? Let's have a look. Uh, there. Fruit type. No, nope, that's not even close. Okay. Grass ready to cut. And the crop that we planted is not even close. Uh, we'll jump into here. So we've got chaff. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.